Hey guys, it's Angie. Today is Monday and that means what sold over the weekend. Now I am doing this in the evening on Monday, but that's okay. The mail has not come yet because today is a holiday. I wanted to let you know I had a great interview with Emily Conway today. It was so much fun. I love that girl. If you are not subscribed to her, please make sure that you do. I'm going to go ahead and link her channel below. That way you can go over and check out her channel and you can subscribe to her too. Now if you're new over there, make sure you tell her Angie sent you. So this weekend had Valentine's Day and half of the country completely snowed in. So I knew sales wouldn't be like woohoo through the roof, but that's okay. I had some decent sales and a lot of bread and butter items. Love to sell that bread and butter. And I want to show you a quick roundup of what I sold over the weekend. The first item that I sold this weekend was this new Moo Moo dress. My mom had actually bought this oversized to wear on a cruise, but our cruise had completely been canceled because of all of the restriction on cruising. And so she's like, eh, I don't even like it that much. So we put it on eBay. Unfortunately, she bought it online. It was a no name brand. Um, it was called OK Seasons. There was not a single other thing on eBay with that brand, but that's okay. It's still sold for $13.50 plus shipping. Happy to have that sold. This is something that was crazy at the Crazy Cas Boys. Sometimes Crazy Cas Boys will have books, audiobooks, DVDs, and games. This week they had a ton of audiobooks and video series, but almost none of them were really winners, except for this one right here. It was a Master Key video series. I honestly don't even know what it's about. I do know that the box was damaged here on the bottom, as you can see. I did describe that and let them know that that was a problem, but all of the DVDs inside were brand new and I was happy that it sold within a day for $18.95. It was the only one like it on eBay. Sold this cute little Vanity Fair bed jacket. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but evidently my mom told me that in the 50s, women would wear little bed jackets while they were sitting in bed reading or whatever, and then they would take it off for when they went to sleep and there was a nightgown underneath. So I found this along with a lot of Vanity Fair items and I was really happy when it sold for full price, $29.95. So that was a good sale. I actually sold two items to this buyer. Gotta love that when I can combine on shipping. This is one of the things I got for a dollar. Lots of dollar items from Crazy Cas Boys in this lot. So we got this as well as the big sexy hair. <laughs> so those two sold together. They did end up being over a pound, so they went in a padded flat rate. Each item is wrapped in a bag. Each product was sealed at the top with tape so that it won't open or move. Then it was wrapped inside bubble wrap and then put into the bag. So it was very carefully wrapped. So two of these again, another two. So $25 for a set of two. Still went first class with two items. You can see here that there's 10 of this kind, but I have multiple different colors. I bought about 30 of them last week and they are steadily selling. Love those little things that you list one time and recurring sales. I'll take that all day long. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Purchased this on Black Friday for $14. Found out that my other daughter purchased it for Amy, my younger daughter. And so I was like, well, I guess I have an extra Twitch game. I knew it would go up in value, so I just hung on to it. It's been sitting in my closet, listed it, and within a day it sold. So not great profit for me, but hey, any profit is great considering it was a gift that we didn't need. I have been running a 30% off sale this week on shoes because I just have a lot of shoes. Sold these Nine West sandals. They're actually super cute. Not sure why I put that as the first picture because that's not the nicest picture of them for sure. They are super nice shoes, you can see, and they sold for $16.07 plus shipping. This is a piercing spray. Did get this for a dollar, sold both of them this week. $10.95, it's gonna be four ounces to ship it or so. Happy to have both of those gone. This person bought two of this Epa Organic, also was over a pound, so it went in a 
priority padded flat rate, but still that's $26 for two items that I paid. Actually, I paid a quarter for both of these. I love this one. I found this, um, a Sears Roebuck catalog. It's a reproduction from the 60s of a 1902 Sears Roebuck catalog. It had a little bit of wear on the cover, as you can see, but inside it was in great condition. It did sell for the $19.95 plus shipping. I told you guys I've been selling these Quacker Factory and Bob Mackie shirts that I got for a quarter at a yard sale. This one's super cute. It has like a beach heart. There's crabs and lobsters and things. And this sold for $12.95 plus shipping. I'll take those sales all day long. $0.25 cents into $12.95 nice this is something i've had in my death pile for a long time my mom listed this for me last week um she took pictures and drafted it we got it on there and it sold in just about a week sold for 11.95 plus shipping um, i tried to price clothes i want them to sell um so i try to price them very competitively so we can get get them out of here this shirt i absolutely loved the shirt it's 100% silk. It's by White House Black Market. Um, it sold for $14.95. So pretty. I just absolutely love this. I love the sleeves. Love everything about that. Not my size, sadly. But um, that sold in about three days. $14.95 for six Kirby vacuum bags. Another dollar item, guys. If you have crazy cows, boys, great place to find things. $12.95 for a McAfee Live Save. Obviously, I've been listing a lot of stuff from the warehouse store. Oh, I sold this cute, cute lovey blanket. It's the, any of those little blankets that have like the little stuffed animals on them. I love this one. It was an owl. I'm sure I picked this up at a yard sale, probably 50 cents. I am running 30% off for all my plush. Okay, this little plush is exactly why I tell everyone to charge shipping. Say I was listing this little guy, who's super cute, for free shipping. Same price though, $17.90 with free shipping. And then I offered 30% off, just like I did with this guy, 30% off the price. I would have made $12.53. Minus the $4.95 shipping, that leaves me with a total of $7.58 plus shipping. Instead, if you see right here, I made 907 doing the exact same thing. I started at 1295 plus 495 shipping, did 30% off, and I ended up with 907 rather than 758. Does that make sense? You always want to sell your items like this with shipping added because even when you run a sale, you're not going to lose your butt <laughs> when you sell them. Even if I had done a 50% off sale, I still would get the same $4.95 shipping. You don't want to take a sale where you're only getting half of the price of your shipping or 30% of your shipping. This is a perfect reason why you want to charge shipping on all of your items. Okay, the next item, cute little Bobby. I love this Pua pig. He's from Moana. Same situation, $5.95 shipping, but he was 30% off. So I sold them for $6.97 plus the shipping. Here's another one of those Quacker Factory shirts. Sold this one for $14.95 plus $6.50 shipping. Not bad for a quarter. Another one, Bob Mackie with the little peacock. It's really cool. It's kind of all embroidered and it was $12.95 plus shipping. I did list this Columbia shirt this weekend. My mom loves getting these PFG shirts. They're vented fishing shirts. Um, as soon as we get them, she wants to list them because they sell as soon as we list them, which is just the case for this, $14.95 plus shipping. And then finally, we sold this Playtex bras. I have to say, Playtex bras have a following, even though they are the most unattractive bras out there but I always sell them. They aren't super expensive at the store and I did charge shipping. So I was more than happy to sell that for $8 plus shipping to someone and hope that they can definitely use it. Okay, that was about it for the highlights of the sales. Like I said, lots of bread and butter items, but I'll take it all day long. I do have to do some shipping tonight and 
not looking forward to that quite honestly but luckily I did a lot of my shipping already over the weekend so I think I only have about seven or eight items from today so it's just a reminder for my YouTube friends I wanted to let you know that tomorrow my daughter is having surgery and Wednesday my mom is having surgery so I will be MIA for most of those days I still will be on Wednesday night with the cap guy Bobby over on his channel where we're gonna do a live stream just chatting about eBay in general but I probably won't be doing any other videos because I'm gonna be spending the next few days in the hospital two different hospitals with two different family members and I'm really just praying everything goes well for them and we can get everybody home by the weekend and get back to normal and everyone starts feeling better. One other thing I wanted to announce was my friend Ella who won my giveaway of the reseller box did a really cute unboxing today over on her channel. Her channel is called Save Here First so please go over and check out that video. Make sure you subscribe and let her know that Angie sent you. I hope I did a pretty good job with what I sent her. She's another Florida reseller so I tried to send her some things that I thought would be kind of cool for a Florida person but you'll have to check out the video and see for yourself. Until next time, guys, live your best darn life. Have a great day. I'll be thinking about you. Keep our family in your thoughts and prayers. Bye.